Ladies, gentlemen, those who go by other titles, welcome to another weekly race for Super Mario Bros. 3 Randomizer. We have a number of participants here today, including Proa007, Macobra52, Human Mustard, and Claris.com on the featured for today. Good evening, I am Wolfman2000, and I am joined today by Sharky. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Just ready for a great matchup here. Or a great race. Well, for all we know, a number of these competitors are very competitive with each other, and plenty of them have done races before. Yep, so should be fun to watch. All right. If you can explain what is randomized for those that are new, I'm going to make sure the runners are ready to uh, take off. All right. Well, what's randomized is the world order. So we could start in world four, for instance. The items are randomized. The power-ups are randomized with ourselves. The... Let's see, boss ba now there could be boss passes and random levels, as well as the Angry Sun. Koopa Kids HP is randomized between one and five. Hammers can, is more are used more useful. They break locks, as well as the rocks and that. So, and well, I hopefully don't forget anything on that. And we start in World 6. Ah, yes. Good old Ice World. But unfortunately, uh, in this case, pipe destinations are randomized. And in this case, there was only one good one. So we have to go through the normal way. And Karibu shoes early. Ah, the rare enemy. This may be a good sign indeed. Welcome to 1-5, everyone where Karibo Shu and Paragoombas like to hang around. Ooh, and that Paragoomba just got Claris there. Ouch. I never said the home was kind here, Sharky. <laughs> so fortunately, the other runners have managed to make it through. So now we have a choice. Ooh, one way leads to a hand, and another way, well, both short levels. That is true. Human Mustard has one of the lost levels, or beta levels. In this case, it's just a romp through the sky. I call it 5-4 beta. But it's short, it's easy. Macobra gets a music box from the hand stage. That's not the best one to get, and unfortunately, all three will have music boxes. Yeah. And Claris does decide to go upper path this time after dying to a sludge burrow. Ooh, that was close. Macobra has to be careful inside uh, First Fortress of World 4, choosing to take the underground, hoping to get a power up, but we got hot feet and dry bones all over. You just gotta be careful. Human Mustard has to be careful getting comboed there. And Claris choosing to take the safety strike going into the Toad House to get a Fire Flower. And we'll use the Fire Flower to do some other steez. Sledge Bros. Wow. Music box. And, ah, I was wondering when we would run into Boss Bass. 6 1 is located at 6 4, and Boss Bass is hungry. Yep, no food yet. One enemy people like to see sometimes is the Boss Bass. Ooh, human mustard, don't scare me like that. Okay, I think with that star it'll help. Macobra finishing up a Hammer Brother turned coin ship. 
and is going to head into 6-6, six, six, which today is 3-3, three, three, I believe. Yeah, I believe that is 3-3. Three, three. Uh, used to be a boss pass level, but no boss pass here. Apparently, boss bats has chosen to adapt to the frigid winters. In the meantime, Human Mustard has taken the other path, 7-9, and Claris is showing the hovering boss bass up in the sky! Uh, was, uh... Once you get the card, all enemies go away. I mean, a 5-up... Should be on the safe side, so... That's a good thing. What's never a good thing is having to fight two fire bros in the water environment. Fortunately, both Macobra and Claris get through and get a P-Wing for their troubles. Alright. Yeah, there is an angry sun out here. Also an angry Koopa, Claris is sent back to start. In the meantime, Macobra has entered 3-1 and is choosing to take the slightly dry path to get a power-up and shortcut. One advantage of the water levels in this game compared to, say, Super Mario Brothers the original is uh, you can actually get out of the water. Yep. And Human Mustard has an end spade game available, actually gets a match. N note the two fire flowers that were matched, as well as the two mushrooms. They will not necessarily be that match. Also, two stars. Nice! I think Human Mustard is surprised by that. So, what are those items? I think I saw Super Leaf and Tanuki and maybe Frog. So, those were good finds. Yep, early good finds. And speaking of the frog suit, well, we have the frog in play on Pro's side. Well, that's certainly a good level to use it on. Alright. Ooh! Hotfoot takes away the raccoon leaf of Macobra, but that's okay. Also, ten coins have not been matched yet. What will that one be? I think I just saw a hammer, did you? I wasn't looking yet, so... Actually, we know where a pair of ten coins are, I believe. Unless... That was the same card, part flipped. J Money Apu in chat confirms! <laughs> Cla uh, it was Claris, I believe, who just got that hammer. The hammers are more useful with this flag set, so... Gotta enjoy the hammers. Oh, oh a fire chain chomp surprise from the Cobra at the end of 1-6 has to go all the way back. That's a major time loss. Ouch. Worst place to get sniped at is that right at the... In. And of course, due to the way that the sprite is designed, black on black, the only way you can see it is through the fire snake at the back. Fortunately, Macobra was not caught a second time. Another choice in this case, 8-2, where you have three more choices. Go down into the left, go down into the right, or just sail across the big pit. Yep. And looks like we've taken the, sh the shame path and going to the right. Few coins. And human mustard is in. This is another lost level or beta level. I want to say, is this three nine beta or five three beta? Either way, it's a uh, blooper baby beta death plus one, something like that. And, uh, well, we have a very popular, uh, viewer in chat who likes to watch out for the four military stages, and we have one of them right now, the Air Force stage. Thank you, Mew Mew fan. Yep, normally a fast 
auto scorer, but this time, in randomizer, well, take your time. Unless, of course, it's one of the two remaining levels that still has an auto scroller, and hopefully, we will not run into them. Hopefully, not. That'd be, I believe, five, nine, and one of the beta levels. That is correct. I don't know which beta level exactly. I guess some would say 6-9 beta, but... Here's hoping we don't see it. Instead, we have... Ah, World 5 Airship. Proa is going for some matching. I believe 10 cards was the hammer. Or 10 coins. In the meantime, we have, I want to say this is Lemmy. Had plenty of hits, it looks like, but fortunately, goes down relatively easily. Yeah, I believe that was a hammer because a few items popped up. Which one of them was a hammer, so... And human may be able to complete this card. Just has to match one more carefully. Yes, clear card. And 20 coins, it will be a mushroom, I believe. Next world is world three. All of our runners will attempt to go in this pipe first and hope that they just get sent straight to the other side. And they do. Just like that. This three. means... <laughs> Yeah, world three is world free. So, for our military-inspired fans, we have officially skipped two fortresses. So, that is two additional chances that we may have missed out on them. Please do not be upset at the fact that we have a short world three today, folks. And we got Wendy. Hi, jumping Wendy. That takes three hits, four hits. Not too bad. At least it's not thunder thighs tonight. I don't think anybody wants to see that Wendy appearing. I don't think anyone does. It's just a, it's a sight you want to unsee. All right, so next up is World 5. And we are starting with... Oh, gosh, is 7475, I believe? I think it's 74. Double check my shit here. Uh, both of them are bad. Yeah, that is 74. Yeah, 7-4 is bad because it's a, it's a water level that you have to go through. 7-5 is bad because it's a very nasty maze. Yep. Fortunately, McCoper gets through. Pro appears to be on good track. Just one his leave. Human Mustard and Claris are catching up. Ah, 5-2 is 1-3 today. Do you believe Macobra will duck on the block to get an item? Look at that, her career before it got killed. Ah, going into the background. It's a classic. Ignore the text that Toad is talking about. You will not get a whistle. Instead, you get... You get him. Hammers are nice. And we still have a number of worlds where that can be useful. And I believe that's three hammers already, so... Alright, three, two... Uh, a number of runners may choose to skip the ground fort on the World 5 map depending on how they're feeling, so this may be another stage that we s miss out on. But then again, a 3-2 is, you know, in this case, not a big problem. 
Burr does decide to go to background and, well, we will be greeted with a hammer. And the Cobra choosing to use the Tanuki suit for protection, uh... The protection plan worked, but I don't think it was worth it for the mushroom. So, let's use a frog suit instead. Uh, never mind. Sacrifice of good old frog. Beginner item. This is, now, go ahead. Yeah, this, this is one of the four levels that are not in randomized precisions. That is correct. Uh, due to the way that this level transitions, we actually head to a different overworld map. So in a few ways, it's almost like uh, you're entering a pipe that has... Mu it's like a multi-level pipe segment, effectively. Only this one can kill you. Fortunately, Macobra is near the top. My high boss bass. I had missed the boss bass. I saw it on the replay. And here's where those hammers are going to come into play. We are skipping a number of stages and entering the first fortress. Hopefully, Macobra can get a leaf so another item could be obtained. And look, a leaf in this vanilla spot. Leaf in the vanilla spot, but not the dry bones. This is a dangerous flight to make. However, Macopra managed to despawn the hot foot. Wow. Nice. <laughs> and then another hammer. Well, that was worth juking and jiving. Ooh, nice. Cloud. Oh, th that will really come in handy for some later stages. Oh, oh no. 6-5. With an immediate boss basket in the pipe, Macobra. There you go. I believe that's what? Is that three or four boss passes now? With how these seeds go, I don't even bother keeping up. I just assume that it's always more than one hand's worth. <laughs> Now, will Human Mustard watch out for Boss Bass? Yes! Now Proa has to do the same thing. Nice jumping. The reason that our runners go into the pipe in 6-5 is any enemies that had spawned at the beginning, such as Boss Bass, become despa- that excuse was me, micro. Excuse me, micro Goomba. We are going to have some words here. I never said you could be the fire snake from, you know, half a year ago. Ah, uh, memories. Speaking of memories, here is the miniature or sky oasis stage two four. Oh, he must have got up to the top, but that micro Goomba got him anyway. I just love how that song is just uh, standing there chilled. The sun can, can't even do anything. That section is not long enough. What is long, though, perhaps too long, is this World 7 airship. I believe it's the... Is it the longest or the second longest? When it comes down to... Uh... When it comes down to uh, time in the vanilla game, you could say uh, World 4 Airship is, only because that scrolling section is very long. Otherwise, World 7 takes it. Aww. Two hit Koopa. Roy has uh, not had some gains lately. And we're still looking for the two Koopas that will 
earthquake, so and they're not and they're randomized as well, so Roy being one of them in a vanilla game was a high jumping Koopa tonight, so Alright, Claris is the fourth into six five, there we go. Ah, world two. This is an excellent world if you have two hammers and a cloud because you can just skip straight to the end. And looks like my cover is going to use the two hammers. And we got another beta level. The Choosing? The water ball. Choosing to save the cloud. Not necessarily a bad idea. And in this case, it's one of the shortest levels. Uh, I consider this to be 7 1 beta. Honestly, seems more like one of those bonus caverns. However, the giant bros have had enough of. Well, they will never have enough because. Oh my gosh, that's another hammer. Oh, use two hammers, get a hammer. Let's go to see what this other hammer bro has. I don't think it can be a second hammer. It's a star, okay. If it was seriously another hammer, I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> oh, we, we would know the seat is filled with hammers. And now we have the World 2 airship at the World 2 airship. Well, there's your spicy vanilla, folks. And, oh, Morton Koopa Jr. is our first Quaker. But kind of a weak Quaker at that, only two hits. We haven't seen everybody's favorite world, the pipe land, yet. So, when would that happen? Well, it's going to be one of the next three here. Uh, Claris is going to be delayed a little farther from that, took a death to one of the flame spouts. And got another hammer! From Peach. Well, um, no matter what, uh, we're gonna have access to... Yep, uh, Macobra is making the right decision. Take the pipe that'll take you closer to the fortress, to the first lock. Well, the only lock in this one, the second fortress opens the bridge, technically. Yeah, too bad you can't use a hammer to make a bridge. That would be nice, but hammers don't have that ability. <laughs> Slipped on the ice and into the pit. Ew. So, going to use a P-Wing, not a bad idea. But yeah, the only way that we are going to have the hammers uh, actually work on bridges is if we turn Mario into Fix-It Felix. And I am not expecting that to happen anytime soon. If we do end up with a graphic hack for that, though, I kind of would like to see it. It'd be ni nice to see. Human Mustard almost found that pit. It's like, move. But having a pee wing helps. That it does. Ah, my Cobra's on the split path level. 5-2. Our runners will typically want to take the high path here. If they fall down, they have to fall down a long way and take a uh, kind of convoluted, well, straightforward but enemy-filled path. Yep, which we call the uh, fall of shame here. Or the drop of shame, whatever you want to call it. I would like to not necessarily think of it as something shameful, just something unfortunate. Yeah. There's that, and Clara's does kill Morton, so... Look, we got another coin ship here. Fortunately, without the auto scrolling. Ooh, Boomerang Brother managed to knock the tail out. I and, uh. Got the same 
end card game as last time. I think I saw that happen in a race a week or two ago, actually. The way the end card games work is it's actually frame dependent when you enter. There are eight patterns within the game, but it is technically possible if you time it just right to get the same game every time. And... Oh. Well, uh, that's one of the auto-scroller levels, and unfortunately the alternative is not much better. Either auto-scrolling 6-9 uh, beta, aka the swim through the Mushroom Kingdom's Atlantis, or be careful and hope you don't get trapped by Boss Bass in 7-2. I don't think anybody wants to be fish food. I know I wouldn't want to be fish food. And human mustard, uh... Human Mustard, were you... Okay, this may have been intentional, technically. He started left, and he may have fallen down left intentionally to fall down and force the movement of the Hammer Brother to just end it early. However, now we know that the Dark Door Maze of World 8 is our gateway to the airship. So with this, Human Mustard has taken the slight lead. But this is one of those trickier ones. And yeah, due to the roto discs and hot feet, Human Mustard is taking the safe path through. And now trying to... Well, tried to get a clip, but chose to not go for it a second time. And here's where being small comes in hand. You can just run under there and not need to wait for the P-switch to run out. Yep, Pro takes a duff and decides to go to the other path with Boss Pass. The death may have been intentional on Pro's side. For the most part, our runners will do everything they can to avoid the two auto scrolling levels. All right, World 6 airship. Iggy Koopa is our other Quaker, but like yeah, Morton... Yeah, like Morton Koopa Jr., um, the newfound powers did not gain newfound health. So while our runners are currently celebrating, two of them at least make sure to give them a follow if you haven't already. They really do appreciate it. Yes, they do. They put on a great show for you guys. So, ooh, Anchor. We'll get to the Anchor shortly. Just don't forget to also follow Sharky on comms and Yanni Man on Restream Duty today. Yep, and Wolfman also on comms, so. Ooh, and Pee Wee as well, so. Wait, that was two anchors in within a minute. Wow. And we do have World Seven, so time to find their path to victory. But first, Macobra is going to fill up the end card game. Now, the freebie pipe took our runners to the, uh, bad island, where you have to complete two stages. So, in this case, we're just going to go through 7-1, which is 2-1 today. The, uh, Mortar Motorway, as I sometimes call it. With the anchors that these runners got, the anchor acts like a random item. So we don't know what it's going to be until they use it. I kind of almost forgot what that did, so... But I, luckily I remembered 
when I seen it, so. Alright, unfortunately, I had missed the power up from the uh, piranha plant. Ah, Cloud, thank you, J Money. Now, the fortress is. Uh. Mew Mew Fan? I don't think you're gonna be happy. Oh, this one. <laughs> this is the second fortress of World 7, Piranha Panic. And it's nasty. Fortunately, P Wings help, but you still have to get through it. And now there's a lot of booze in that one room, too, so. We got two, we got another pipe chuck here. Toad House. Mushroom Island. Uh, Macobra is not interested. Going to hope that 7 6 is the right path. And we have the pyramid. Now, we do mention that the enemies are randomized, but we do actually keep some of the Buzzy Beetles here in order to allow for progression. Yeah. There's a few spots that does that. So, and this one is being one of them. To prevent soft locks from happening, so... And I don't think Macobra wanted a 5-up. He tried to delay it. Not to get the star, but instead gets a healthy dose of 5-up. Well, considering how tricky some of these levels can be, one in, in, not a bad idea to go for it. Also, <laughs> that's a lot of music boxes that have been collected. But using both Lakitu clouds, immediately going into the fortress. The worst one has already passed, so instead we have... Uh, well, this is interesting. The uh, two fortresses of World 7 have inverted their positions, or swapped them. And you need a leaf of some kind to progress, so you'll, you'll pick up a nice tanuki. Now, Human Mustard is choosing to take the long way around and has entered the traditional desert stage where the Angry Sun would normally be. Instead of an Angry Sun, though, we have a very small cheap cheap that's trying to cause problems. I just want to say hi is about it. Oh! Pro had entered the dummy pipe. Ouch. Fortunately, knows where to go now. Hi, Chain Chomp. How you doing down there? Just bouncing around. Probably happy that uh, he's unchained right now. Macobra about to finish up the World 1 airship. And Ludwig is a high jumper now. Alright, six worlds down, two to go. Since World 8 always has to be last, we know the next one is World 1. And if our runners still have a hammer left, they can skip three more stages, which includes another fortress. Yep, I only need two stages and airships. And likely a hammer bro as well. Oh. Why did that piranha had to snipe? Instead of getting a leaf, well, go back to the mushroom guy. 
All right, six eight with boss bass. While Pro has taken a different path and has entered seven 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 eight, I believe. Yeah, I believe that is seven eight. Uh oh. Oh no. Macobra has found the other auto scroller, and I believe he is out of Lakitu clouds. Hope you enjoy five nine, folks. <laughs> Looks like some uh, some of the fans in chat don't. But that's the nature of uh, this randomizer. This level kind of breaks if the auto scrolling isn't left alone. Yeah, because you got these moving platforms that's going up and down or left and right. Probably wouldn't it be fun if it was be scrolled. All right, Human Mustard gets away from the boss bass. La Cobra taking out the uh, Fire Bros, I believe. Claris.com finally done with 7F2. And Proa is about to catch up to World 1 slash 7. Good news for Human Mustard. He's Cloud not realizing it was 5-9, so he's just gained quite a bit of ground right there. Every little bit helps. <laughs> now, remember folks, we have more, more than just our featured four here. We have, let me get a quick count. We have three other runners that are in right now. We have Classic Gamer 88, Fuchsia Fantasy, and S Diesel. Yep. Even those three are even good. At random, so. All right, what is World Eight going to look like? Well, obviously, it looks like a bunch of fire and brimstone. First stage. Four, four. Can't say I was expecting this one. Fortunately, a nice Lakitu bounce to leap over the wall and get some uh, air time. Of course, you get another hammer from Peach, so these runners should have plenty of hammers if they need to use them in World 8, which I believe you could use up to two hammers. Uh, yeah, two hammers at best. And that's only because the lock that you see on this on this part it, you know, breaks when you defeat the other ship. Also, did I just miss a boss bass eating? I'm checking the replay. Yep, Claris got chomped. Ew. Oh, I guess the boss bass should be happy now. It claimed a Mario tonight. Or in this case, a Waluigi look. Alright, our runners are trying to find the path through, and... This may be handbridge required, someone was asking for it. And we get dragged in immediately to 3-5. 3-5 or 3-4, one of the two. Human Mustard, though, has entered the... Th Third Fortress of World 6 instead. Ooh, I just got laying on a hot foot there. Second hand for Macobra. Entering 6 2 has to be careful. Yeah, dying on hand stages are typically not a good thing.
and the mustard is looking through this path, see what this pipe leads to. It leads to hands. And, and we're about first hand. Six ten. And the airship at the end of the hand bridge is the ground fort of World Five. Fortunately, with no boss bass in sight. Boss Bass likes to show up here for whatever reason. So now, here's the interesting question. Is hand bridge required, or do you have to go back to the start, basically, and take the lo <laughs> and take the vanilla navy position? Well, hand bridge Neither! You have to beat 8-2 and 8-1, and take that pipe, I think. Ooh. And if you have any clouds, this, is, this would be the best spot to use them. I think our runners are out of them at this point, and unless you run into another hand stage, of which there are two unaccounted for, you're getting no more inventory items, but even those wouldn't help because they're just music boxes. Yep. Players Once we have know to... one hand stayed, we know all we know all three is going to have. So. So fortunately, four or five wasn't too bad. What is the final obstacle? Five eight. Not a level you want to use a frog suit for. It makes it easier for the key to just throw his spinies and hit. Alright, we now know the way to go. So what is the penultimate stage? It's the Sky Lava Fortress. That means, um, uh, Mew Mew fan, I apologize, we only got to see one out of your four favorites today. Also, Macobra liked the stage so nice, playing it twice. Scott never got a chance to use a leaf in the level Macobra's in. I don't know if the lava on top kills you or not. I don't think it does, but I could be wrong, so... I honestly do not remember. I would need to get a P-Wing and fly up there just to test it. But right now, we are on the home stretch. Hammer suit equipped. I had missed when one was picked up. But Macobra has to save this suit if he wants a quick kill against Bowser Koopa. Whoa! Okay, there's an unexpected clip! And, of course, the, one, the easiest clip, the one-up clip. After now, that. I've only seen one runner perform a clip just beyond that door before, and that was on a uh, unrelated event. But, in this case, our runners like to go through the door. Yep, and here's ba well, never mind, he's dead. <laughs> here's Bowser, and there goes Bowser. Just as quick as he appears. Yeah, Bowser versus Hammer Suit, uh, just a couple of B presses away, and there you go. With that in mind, folks, get your GGs out in chat for Macobra52 has finished in first place with an official SRL time of 42 minutes, 30 seconds. Yep. And a pretty good time, too. Human Mustard is about to get the same thing. Oh, actually went for that clip I was talking about. Didn't land it, but just going through vanilla. And human 
Ethan, Mustard, if you were attempting for a cool strat, uh, it didn't work out. And now, for that, we actually see the slow way of killing Bowser. It's still easy. And only the top of half of Bowser is a hitbox. Bottom of half, well, you can stand right there and give Bowser all the hugs you can. In the meantime, Classic Gamers finished in second place with a, an official SRL time of 43.41. And Human Mustard... Oh, was having problems with the B button, and that's why the hammer suit was lost. Had to, has to claim a finish of 44.08. And that right there could make a difference on your precision when you finish, if it's a close race. Power of Bowser, hammer kills him easily. And Claris taking a route I wasn't expecting. Uh, who expected to see three, uh, you know, three Fortress One? I did not expect that, but the other one is going to take it, so we at least get to see a level that nobody else seen. Ah, and now Clarissa is at the other end of the hand bridge. Uh, Proa has also finished with 44.55, if I saw that right. Yep, GG's to all these runners. And we have also brought in Fuchsia Fantasy to be featured for a bit. So we have runners finishing fast and furious, but let's talk with our first place winner. Macobra, GG, welcome to the commentary booth. GG, thank you. Pretty you flew through this one for the most part. Really? It didn't seem that way. <laughs> I, I remember having played through five nine. That was that was a tedious. <laughs> Almost everyone did. You're not you're not the only one. Oh uh, really? Okay. <laughs> and then World Eight trolled me. Um had to go have for the Hambridge to find out I loop back around to the start, so I had to come back and <laughs> do it one eight two to get to the end. <laughs> That's always fun. Genuinely curious, uh, would you prefer going through Handbridge or going through 8182? Uh, that, that's a toss up. Um, if you're if you're feeling lucky with the Handbridge, I'd say go for that since there's a chance you can only you, you average out about one and a half levels, so they're probably more beneficial than Handbridge. I don't, I'm not sure. That's an interesting situation. This seat also had a lot of boss passes in it. Yeah, it did. <sighs> and speaking as, as someone who was familiar with boss passes, welcome Proa007. Yeah. Uh, too many little things for me uh, ended up sinking me down there. But uh, yeah, it, was a good, it was an interesting scene. A lot of hammers. Lots and lots of hammers. Yeah, props to the whoever generated that See, That was nice. How much your hammers and you got the skip law of the worlds and it was awesome. Yeah. Have a lot of hammers and music boxes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had like four in a row at the end there. Yeah, I think the twenty coin was a hammer. I'm not sure. Was that the one or in the card game? Ten or twenty, I think. I think it was a ten if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it was a ten, okay. Yeah, I noticed that, but as um, soon as I found my share of hammers for the Hammer Brothers stage, I was like, no, nope, don't, don't even play this anymore. So. <laughs> and Peach gave you at least two, I believe. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, 
there were a lot of hammers. Uh, you can thank or blame me because I rolled the seed today. At least it wasn't horrible like the last time I rolled a Dragon Warrior randomizer seed. I'm currently still on unofficial probation for that one. <laughs> As one is. But... Yeah. yeah, I thought I had more clouds than I had for some reason. There, there's only two of them that came up, or, or two or three, I think. Two or three, yeah. Yeah, see, see there's more than that. I'm not... I wasn't sure if, like, I got too many items and it overflowed or something or what, but... <laughs> I guess that's how many there were. <laughs> yeah. Well... Well, that was interesting, but I will duck out, so... Thanks, everybody, and, uh... Hopefully next time I don't screw around with, with coin ships and get killed by mistake. Oh, did the hammer get you? Yeah, and I used oh, a cloud man. to get to him, so it was a double whammy, so that cost me about 90 seconds. Oh man, double cloud. Man. Well. We also have Claris.com in uh, the booth now. GG. GG? GG, Claris. So, uh, you had finished in 4851, uh, what were your thoughts on this seed, since, uh, apparently, like all seeds I roll, there are mixed opinions about it. Uh, it wasn't too bad, I mean, I had, a kind of a rough start there, like, I know, I've been doing that for a while now, just having rough starts, but the hammers came out pretty well, and it was a nice two, and a nice three, yeah, it, it wasn't too bad to see. How many hammers did you end up getting, by the way? Well, I played the the card game one and a half times. I got both hammers. I would want to say six total. Yeah, this C definitely had a share of hammers. I was able to make, do every major skip, I believe. Um, so yeah, I made for a really quick C, relatively. Or yeah, skip better. But. <laughs> yeah, skip the what? Most of World Two, have the World One. Yeah, pretty much all the major skips there. <laughs> and World 3 was World 3, so that's always nice. Yeah. And uh, Human Mustard has uh, chosen to join in Twitch chat. So, uh, Human Mustard, if you can hear me, uh, what were your thoughts on this one? Oh, I'm being shown a bunch of fish. Uh, boss <laughs> is well aware. Yeah, you didn't get me this time around. Oh, other Ooh. runner S Diesel had an unfortunate slip into the fire jump and ouch. Ooh. And on the way back, well, gets through the hand bridge with no hands that time, so. Nice. Yeah. That... Go ahead. That was one hand I did get, the 610 one. I got the other two, which were 62 and, um,. The last one was. So, uh, the uh, final two runners, Fuchsia Fantasy and SDs, are trying to figure out the mystery of World 8. <laughs> How did you feel when you realized you had to go through uh, 8 2 and 8 1? <laughs> it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't much of a, of a trouble. I would have uh, been more offended if it would have been the hand bridge, but. 8-1 and 8-2 are not bad. So if you were to give this seed a numerical rating like some in Twitch chat are doing, uh, feel free to use any real or fake rating system you want. Oh, okay, um, let's go, let's go 7.5 out of 10. I mean, it, it's a nice play. Um, it's... There's some challenging parts for, for newer runners. Um, if you chose not to play end cards, if there's still a good bit of skipping you can do. Yeah, I, di I didn't see any 6-6 six, six or 7-5. Or... We saw 7-F2, though, so... I think overall it's a solid C. I'd I give it, like, 9 out of 10, probably. Okay, maybe I am out of my uh, seed rolling <laughs> probation, then. <laughs> Uh, 
And thank you, chat, for uh, with the unofficial survey. <laughs> Six-headed mushroom. <laughs> yeah, lots of power-ups, or lots of hammers today, and according to one of our more vocal fans, not enough military stages. We only saw the airship, or, or the Air Force, and we did not see either tank level or the Navy which is kind of surprising. I'm used to seeing at least two of them in a run. Rare to see one. Yep, no, in our uh, the other two, two of them could be in World 3, which we don't know what's in World 3 besides the airship. Yeah, possibly. And, uh, speaking of the vocal fan, uh, Mew Mew fan, uh, 7F2 was in World 7, it just swapped positions with 7F1. It was in its vanilla world, <laughs> it was just the other end. And uh, Human Mustard asks what, what, what item came from the hand stages music box. Um... I want to say it was a frog suit, or... I know I found at least one hand stage. I don't remember what it was, though. I, Maybe be I do believe it was a music box. It was oh. like... Oh, that's right. Was, 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 yeah, right. It was Anchors were frog suits. Anchors were frog suits. That's my use. <laughs> uh, I did not even notice a uh, hammer pickup or usage this seed. I apologize for that, folks. Oh yeah, there was another question that we had uh, during you know, everyone going through 5F2. Is it possible to die in the ceiling lava at the top? No, you can in All Stars because that's an actual terrain effect, but in the vanilla game you can just fly right over it. I thought the All-Stars version was supposed to be identical to the NES version. <laughs> Guess I was told incorrectly. Because I, I ended up flying over it because I used the Tanuki suit just because I needed a power-up. For the most part, they are similar, though, the All-Stars and the NES version. And right now, you got as Diesel going through Bowser's castle now. With a good old hammer. <laughs> all right, any final thoughts uh, from all of you here in the booth regarding the seed? Keep our own wolf. <laughs> Appreciated. All right, uh, just to cover a minor programming update as S Diesel finishes. At the conclusion of this race, which is not going to be very long from now, we are going to have, I believe, the bracket reveal for the Zelda 1 Randomizer First Quest Tournament for this year the, it's the summer fall iteration and oh my mistake i've received a more recent update uh that is going that reveal is going to take place at 11 o'clock so uh, feel free to get some popcorn use the washroom all that other good stuff it should be great to watch Indeed, i will admit i'm not going to participate as a runner this time but Hopefully, I can help out in my own way here. Yep. I, for me, I am going to take partake in the randomizer tournament myself. So let's see who I'll get paired up against. We find out tonight. 
Hopefully you do not get paired up with Yunos because you will not make it. I already know that much. There's a lot of runners like, do I want to face this person? Probably not. One person I'd like to face again would be JLo. Well, while you prepare your uh, fantasy bracket, Fuchsia Fantasy and S Diesel have finished. S Diesel with 5127 and Fuchsia Fantasy with 5828. That is all of our runners for tonight's weekly race. Yep. So please make sure to give our original featured for a follow, Proa007, Macobra52, HumanMustard, and Claris.com. If you also want to follow the others, we had Yusha Fantasy, S Diesel, and I am forgetting the other name, Classic Gamer88, who we did not bring in. Well, because well, he finished quick. Yeah. So. <laughs> And that's a classic gamer for you. He's real good at this, so expect him to finish among the top. And shout out to Wolfman for helping doing the commentary. So give Wolfman a follow as well as our restreamer. The enemy man, so. Can't forget about Sharky over here. Yep, and it was fun calling this race. Agreed. Now, as far as what is upcoming besides the bracket reveal. So, 11 p.m. is bracket reveal. 2 p.m. tomorrow, we will have a Super Mario Land Randomizer League matchup. Late Learner versus Sharky 2107. 5 p.m., we will have a Final Fantasy Randomizer Showcase race. We will have a number of new players that will go through this for one of their earlier times, if not first. And we get to see the up-and-coming generations of Warriors. Going back to Warriors, 8 p.m. on Randomania, we will have High Spirits vs. Lord of the Synth on Dragon Warrior Randomizer. 9 p.m. we will have on Randomania 2, the Tie-Dye Guy vs. Jackamus Wedge. Those two will conclude week one of the Swiss stages. And, oh, we also have a Battle Royale on Sunday night as well, 10 p.m. Malagord, Siscrusher, Truant Gamer, and Ryko Rider are duking it out. I don't know what the theme is, but hopefully it's a good one. Oh, I don't know here. So, tomorrow is jam-packed full of randomizer action. And hopefully yep. you'll get to stick around for all of them. Well, I would, but I got work, so only got one I have to be a part of, so that's gonna be fun. That is true. Uh, you, good luck against Late Learner, and we'll see what happens. Have you had a chance to mess with some of the new uh, flags yet? Not yet. I might practice do a seed tonight. Later I, on. I will advise you do that because a number of things have changed. So with that in mind, I think it's time for us to wrap up here. Yep. Till next time, guys. And Wednesday night, we have our weekly on speed gaming of this man with this game. Ah, uh, yes, cannot forget about that. All right, so for all of the runners and staff here tonight, this is Wolfman2000 saying, until next time, watch out for Boss Pass. Stay tuned in about 50 minutes, we will have the Legend of Zelda randomizer tournament reveal.